Good morning everyone and on today's episode of Pinch House Garage it's brought to you by Liquid Molly. We love their lube and their lube loves us. So on today's episode on uh, Pinch House Garage, we are going to flush the um, oil system here with Liquid Molly engine flush. Then we're gonna run, do a full oil change with 530 uh, Special Tech oil from Liquid Molly. And we're gonna give it a ceramic coating on top of that. I gotta give them a big, big shout out and a big thanks to Liquid Molly for hooking us up and hooking up the MK4 Outlander. So, because of that, we're gonna show you guys how to do this entire process here, which is super, super easy. The directions are actually on the back of each uh, container and how to do this correctly. So, let's get started on the engine flush. So here's the Liquid Molly engine flush system. So to do this, you require a minimum of three liters of oil, which is about 3.17 uh, quarts, technically of what it states on the back of the can here. Uh, of uh, oil in the system. So we have actually have pretty much uh, it's full of oil. So we're gonna, I'd say it's a little less than half a quart low on the car. We're gonna dump this into the motor and it says to run the car for about uh, 10 minutes. So that gives me actually enough time to actually get this car going, taking it over to AutoZone to pick up an oil filter cap for the, uh, for this, I mean an oil filter tool to get the uh, filter off of this and come back and do a full flush. So, let's get it done. We pop the cap off of this bad boy. We're gonna dump it in here. And it says it's good for an entire container, so we're gonna dump an entire container as per the instructions to flush out this motor. So I'm gonna go drive it right now and come right back and see how much junk comes out of this, uh, out of this oil pan, because I'm excited for this. We need to get this engine in its prime state because <laughs> even though it has 200,000 270,000 miles I think it just got broken in since it's a ALH motor all right guys I'll see you guys in a couple minutes and we'll show you guys what to do next so I'm back from my trip to AutoZone and you can see that we got the oil nice and hot you see that vapor coming out of there it's kind of hard to see but we got it. So now we're going to drain uh, the oil pan and see what comes out. So we just started draining the oil here using the Liquid Molly uh, engine flush. You can see it draining right there. I mean, since it's diesel, it's pretty gross. Um, I mean, it's hard to tell what's in the oil. So we're going to let it drain. See how much, uh, if we get any deposits uh, left over on the actual um, drainage and, you know if, the, if there is deposits it will they will be heavier so we'll be able to see them uh, so give that a couple minutes let that drain I'm gonna remove the oil filter since that's due for a change as well uh, this is it right here it's a cartridge type filter and it uses uh, I think 74 millimeter the jigger I gotta find it I bought it <laughs> oh here it is there right. so yeah 7476 millimeter uh, oil tool removal tool thing right there use that uh, on the actual cap itself it does say 25 Newton meters for your torque spec 
right there 25 newton meters do not go past that because you can either crack this or over tighten and take forever to remove it so we're gonna uncap it right now and let the rest of the oil drain out all right so now we're back and we got the new filter on new o-ring here and here use a little fly head pop it off nothing special um, usually what you're supposed to do is give it a little bit of oil here so see if I can get some and always uh, add oil to your o-rings uh, when you're doing an oil change uh, just because it allows it to number one make it easy to take it off even though these go on pretty tight but it makes your life a lot easier when you want to start actually doing some work and go all the way down so we're all the way to the bottom now and then I'm going to use my torque wrench to give that a 25 newton meter uh, uh, seal pretty much a tightness on it and call that a day uh, We've been letting the oil drain for a little bit longer than a few minutes. I think we've been like 15 20 minutes now um, So we're gonna put in our new drain plug and Then uh, we're gonna fill this guy up with some fresh liquid molly And some ceramic um, uh, some ceramic coating where uh, defense for the oil, you know, um, for the not defense for the oil. <laughs> it's a ceramic. I gotta see this stuff right here. It's a Ceratech. Um, so for the application, you need. Let's see here. Minimum amount of oil is three liters, three point one seven quarts, uh, for optimal uh, performance. Add directly to your uh, transmission or uh, engine oil right after an oil change this will treat up to five quarts so that's what we're going to be putting in we're going to look up the amount of oil that has to go into this motor fill it up uh, not all the way so we got to compensate for this amount um, more likely i'm going to go to four quarts add this and then top it off from there um, so here's that bottle there's that gorgeous logo from Li uh, from Liquid Molly. There you go. Y'all, we love their lube in our motors. So these guys always have a seal in it. Oh, it's like orange. Interesting. Ooh, it smells good. I like the smell. <laughs> Dude, this will guarantee you give you diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, that's out, right? yeah. Just keep it clean. Just keep it clean. Lubricated, bro. Oh, yeah. All right, so uh, I'm going to put the drain plug in back in, fill it up. Uh, we're going to add the, the bottle of uh, the chemical here and then top it off from there and check our dipstick constantly to make sure we don't overfill it. Alright, so now we're ready to put some oil in. Now, as per Liquid Molly's request here, a recommendation. Um, here we go, let's go back. We're using the 530 Special Tech uh, Full Synthetic Motor Oil from Liquid Molly. Ta da! And this uh, the 1.9 TDI engine uses four and a half quarts of oil. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump three, use the uh, ceramic uh, addition uh, to it, then top it off from there. Uh, obviously not to go past the, uh, the amount of uh, oil in the motor required. So we wanna make sure we do it right and not overfill. It's okay to have less and then just top it off to get the right amount. So here we go.
already got my funnel. I already got my torque set up in there. No, the, not torque, but uh, my um, my drain plug already torqued down. So now time, like I said, to top this guy off. One and a half quarts. <laughs> Door. I'm gonna open that up. It's already, the seal's already been broken, so we're just gonna pour, start pouring it in and mixing it up. There we go. Double fist mixture. Yeah. Look at that. Mm. Pouring the second the oil slowly. So I want to, like I said, I don't want to overfill this. And just over three quarts. Now this is the part where I'm going to start checking my dipstick as I go, just because I want to make sure we don't put too much oil in this motor. Now, if you guys ever want to know if you have too much, right here, focus on the camera. Curse you. Come on. So, if you guys want to see where to fill it, um, see these little dots? So this is your filler mark, you don't want to go past that. Uh, this is pretty much if you go past this little divot here, you're overfilling it, so that's how you know if you have too much oil. So we're gonna get, pop it in. Yeah, line it up first. And we're not even close. <laughs> So we should have a full quart left over of oil, which is good because I don't know if this engine is already burning oil or not. So we just dump it in the trunk and go from there. So we officially uh, filled it up. We used about, like I was saying, there's still about a quart and a half left in here, um, give or take, and it's already full. but. We still haven't cranked the engine on. I gotta tighten this guy down first and let that oil filter fill up with oil and then let the car settle for a minute or so and then add more on top of that because we don't know how much we actually need until everything runs through the system since I'd let it drain for a lot longer. Usually uh, a full drain with the car like sitting for a while, like bone dry uh, fill is usually about 4.7, 4.75 quarts, um, but Obviously it's never the case. You guys leave it for a few minutes and then fill it so it's not bone dry. So there's still a lot of residual oil left. So four and a half is usually what is recommended uh, for these cars. So we're gonna crank it over and then go from there. Oh, you gotta tighten that down. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Let's see what it sounds like after a nice fresh oil change because God knows how old the oil is in this motor originally. Wow. <laughs> it's not clanky anymore. <laughs> no, that's clanky. I mean, it sounds like a normal diesel without valves slapping each other. Yeah. Wow. 
Now that's the power of liquid molly. <laughs> That sounds good, dude. Yeah. I mean, still a shit box, but that's all super good. It's not like a diesel. You feel the vibration of the car now? <laughs> the motorsport, the 031 motorsport mounts are like, woo! What fans work? I don't know. We, I haven't gotten the car hot enough to tell you. That's moderately important. Yeah. <laughs> when, we, when we get to that part of the... The repair, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Holy crap, this sounds really good. I'm not, I'm, actually, I'm not even lying, guys. It sounds really good in comparison to what it sounded like before. Wow. All right, turn it off and check the dipstick. Here. I'm I'm actually surprised. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, a good fresh oil change will always make a difference on any car. But this made a big difference just on its noise alone. It's not super clankety clanky. Look at that. It's bone dry. It's missing a quart. Yeah. Surprising that <laughs> <no> one. <laughs> Missing about a quarter of oil. I was gonna let it settle for a second. And, um, but as it sits right now, running all that oil through the system, because this has to fill up. The actual um, oil filter housing has to fill up, so that's where all the oil pretty much disappeared to. Yeah, it needs about a quart. Not surprised. Just throwing things everywhere, man. That's okay. I gotta put that product placement. Liquid mollies. And then fill. I don't know, I'm a little aroused by pouring this. I need this in my car. Sure, I'll put it in my car too. Yeah. Hey, Liquid Molly, if you hook us up with all our cars, we'll put it in there. Royal Purple ain't got shit. Ain't got <laughs> shit on Liquid Molly, bro. Oh, we're there. Give or take like a schmidge. I get a little schmidge here. Off. Look at that on the line. Woo. All right. So personally, I recommend doing an oil change, especially in these much much higher mileage engines, around 2,500 to 3,000 miles, especially in these older technology, older des uh, engine designs. Uh, as a recommendation, uh, everybody is definitely on their own on that. Um, it's up to you guys, honestly. But as my personal recommendation, 2,500 to 3,000 miles, I'm gonna be changing this car's uh, oil again if it makes it to even that many miles in its no, life. It will. Look at that. Back to black. Gee, look at Molly's better than just an oil change. Yeah. It's plastic restore. Don't take my word for that. <laughs> That's also cool. Yeah, I like that. And it pulls out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, roll purple scan suck. This is like squared top. Uh -huh. And you go to pour it and it just shoots out everywhere. <laughs> Butt in the engine. Yeah. Now your $50 jug of oil is wasted. Wasted. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in this episode of Pinchiao's Garage. We're gonna see how this car, uh, this this car performs uh, over time with the new uh, oil change from Liquid Molly. 
and using their ceramic coating uh, as well. So if it takes a beating, I'm gonna, I'm really gonna recommend this oil a lot more often than not. Uh, but, uh, to be honest with you, I don't run Liquid Molly in any of my cars. Why? Because I can't afford it. It's not the most affordable oil out there. But if it makes a difference, I'm definitely gonna get into buying it and staying with it. Uh, we'll see, we'll see how proven tough this stuff is when we drive the crud out of it. All right, thanks again for tuning in this episode of Pinchao's Garage. Peace out, and again, big thumbs up to Liquid Molly for hooking up the MK4 Outlander. Peace out, everyone. Hey, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Pinchao's Garage, brought to you by Liquid Molly, giving them a major thanks and thumbs up for the awesome opportunity to use their products and for you guys to enjoy the video. Um, because of them and because of you, the subscribers, we get to do what we can do. But for us to keep doing what we do, we need your help. What does that mean? Go to our online store, BinchaIslesGarage.com. Pick up some merch, pick up some new little mods. Again, everything that you guys uh, purchase, we use towards the channel. We use for mods, we use for DIYs, we use to buy, uh, purchase more product so I can make you guys product. Pretty straightforward. Um, we are almost to 10,000 subscribers, guys. It took me six years to get that, but I can care less. This channel is definitely a niche, and it's definitely for you guys, no one else. So, when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to do something extra, extra special for you guys. So please, hit that like, hit that subscribe, share, share, share. And as always, we're going to break, fix, and repeat here at BGL's Garage. And thank you for enjoying this episode brought to you by Liquid Molly. Peace out, everyone.